If you're looking for the best podcast microphones, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Blue Yeti USB Condenser Microphone. Three different condenser capsules in one allows you to record it in a variety of situations. Four different polar patterns will cater to your taste. Multiple pattern selection, cardioid to heart-shaped, stereo, overlapping circles, bidirectional, and omnidirectional. Integrated headphone amp and jack for real-time monitoring with no delay. One of the easiest and most popular microphones for podcasting. A quality mic for a reasonable amount. USB output for plug and play directly into the computer as well as XLR cable output for use with higher end analog equipment. The Blue Yeti tends to be the most popular starter mic for podcasters. Moving on to the next and number two with Audio Technica R2100 USB Cardio Dynamics USB slash XLR. A built in headphone jack makes it easy to listen back to the mic's output without any delay. The R2100 also has a quality analog to digital converter for excellent fidelity and a headphone output with level control for monitoring. A cardioid, heart shaped polar range eliminates unwanted background noise from behind and the sides, making this an affordable mic that's suited for podcasting and slash or recording acoustic instruments. Because it's a dynamic mic, you're not expecting plenty of warmth, but has the clarity you're looking for. The number three position is held by Shure SM58LC Cardioid Dynamic Vocal Microphone. Once labeled the most popular mic in the world, the Shure SM58LC earned fame on stages worldwide. However, recent improvements have helped it cater to studios and podcasters alike. Dynamic vocal microphone suited for live vocals and studio applications. Frequency response of 50HC to 15HC with enhanced midrange and bass roll-off. In our use, the Shure SM580LC is a great low-end sound, good warmth, smooth high-end, and overall just excellent quality for the price. Next at number 4, we have Audio Technica T2035 Large Diaphragm Studio Condenser Microphone. As the name suggests, the large diaphragm allows this mic to be multifunctional while delivering low noise and exceptional detail and clarity. Some specs. 80HC High Pass Filter. 10 dB pad filter eliminates unwanted low-end rumble. Cardioid polar pattern reduces pickup of sounds from the sides and rear, improving isolation of desired sound source. Large diaphragm for smooth, natural sound, and low noise. Pop filter included. A high SPL rating, sound pressure level, and wide dynamic range make this mic suitable for recording a broad variety of different instruments and sound sources at high volumes. The number 5 position is held by Blue Encore 100, another high SPL handling mic capable handling a variety of situations. If your podcast often features multiple guests, music, or other sound effects, you may want to look at this microphone. Though typically used for stage and live performances, this mic has risen in popularity among podcasters due to the relatively low price point and decent quality for capturing voice recordings. The number 6 position is dominated by Rode Procaster. Nearly every feature of this mic is made for voice recording. It's designed to be great sounding while reducing all ambient noises. Here are the listed features. Broadcast sound quality. High output dynamic capsule. Balanced, low impedance output. Internal shock mounting of capsule for low handling noise. Internal pop filter to reduce plosives. Robust all metal construction. Designed and manufactured in Australia. Includes REM 2 stand mount, 3 slash 8 inch adapter, Z-Pone zip pouch. This mic was made for podcasting, simple as that. It has an internal pop filter to increase the clarity and reduce the noise of vocal broadcast. Though these podcast specific features do come at a price, every podcaster I've spoken to who uses the Procrastor raves about it. Moving on to the next and number 7 with Blue Snowball ICE Condenser Microphone, Cardioid. Custom Condenser Capsule provides crystal clear audio for real-time, chatting, Skype, Google Hangout, etc., podcasts, voiceovers, and vocals. Improve audio quality on Skype, Twitch, and FaceTime. Add crystal clear audio to recordings for YouTube. Create podcasts and add narration to your home movies, record instruments, or vocals. 
Easy plug and play directly to your Mac or PC node drivers to install. Ease of use is the draw here. You simply plug this into your computer and it's up and running without having to install any drivers. As easy to use as a mouse or QWERTY keyboard, both Mac and PC. Obviously with a low price point, you're not going to get the quality of some of the upper tier mics, but mark this one down as a solid bang for your buck. The number 8 position is held by Samsung Go Mic Portable USB Condenser Microphone. Cardioid polar pattern for clear recording close-up, interviews, acoustic guitar, vocals, etc. Omnidirectional polar pattern for recording the entire space, field recordings, jam sessions, etc. I mentioned in the intro how the mic you buy needs to fit your podcast whether it's recorded in a studio or on the road. For me, this is a great travel mic to add to your existing microphone stable. A compact, handheld digital recorder with all of the features and more of an iPhone at a mere fraction of the price. Next at number 9 we have Shure Beta 58 a Super Cardioid Dynamic Microphone. Another mic on this list designed specifically for voice recordings. This microphone provides worn vocals and records clarity throughout the spectrum. It also has a unique polar pattern. Super Cardioid which allows it to boast that it can push the gain higher than other mics without feedback. Beloved by buyers is probably a good place to start here. I haven't personally tested this mic, but relying on the 4.6 star rating provides me enough comfort to make an investment here. That and the easy integration with Shure's wireless system. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Shure SM7B Vocal Dynamic Microphone, an upper-tier microphone tailored for close-talk speech recording, read, podcasting, state-of-the-art electromagnetic hum reduction, computer monitors, etc. Yoke mounting with captive stand nut for easy mounting and position control. Detachable windscreen for extra warm close-talking vocals. Adjustable frequency response that's wide-ranging and suitable for both professional broadcasting slash podcasting as well as the recording studio, optimized for close-range vocals and bass amp recording. Yes, it's expensive, but for all the upper-tier microphones out there, this one is able to record impeccable speech perfect for podcasters. I've spoke with a few veteran podcasters who use this mic in their studio and all swear by it. That said, if you're new to podcasting or it's something you're just trying out, I don't advise investing in a microphone, any mic this expensive. That's all for today. We upload music product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.